Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and before we hop in, I'm going to be doing a giveaway for one Ulti Fallen of Albaz, three Cosmic Cyclones, one Ultra Zeus, and one World Sea Dragon, and all you have to do to enter this giveaway is like the video, be subscribed, and comment down below your favorite Yu-Gi-Oh card, and you will be entered into the giveaway, and then hopping into the video, we have JJXDY versus Alpha the Wizard, and this is a $20 tournament finals. Make sure to go ahead and check out Dragon Riders Gaming's Facebook page, link down below at the very top of the description, if you want to play in any other future tournaments. Also, you can check out Alpha the Wizards YouTube channel, link down below in the description right underneath that. And now, let's hop right in. So, we're going to see JJ win the rock, paper, scissors, shoot. They're going to go first, 45 versus 40, opening hands. We got Tracer, Boots, Sornir, Magma, Red and D. They have Planet, Murley, Kelbeck, Super Poly, Heartbeat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they just drew Super Poly against Dragon Link. Oh, that's insane. That is so tough. Normal Summon Tracer, Link off, make Striker Dragon. Can't use the effect because we drew Boot. Unfortunate. Red and D effect, bring out Tracer from the graveyard. And then link those off, make seal, activate boot, pass turn. So seal pass, the classic strategy. They draw Medora. They're actually lucky that they didn't like full combo. Super probably really would have just broke the board by itself. Medora, discard Kelbeck. Not even just break the board. It literally would have secured game by itself. Summon out, and then activate Kelbeck effect. You know, you know they're not on tiers, so now you can use all of your mill effects. Oh my gosh, and they mill better than you did. Hit safer to Abzerouter. Then you hit Keldo, because we already used Kelbeck. Keldo's not bad, though. Uh, Keldo can be used in response to Seal effect to Tribute, and then they won't get the special summon from deck. So that's actually like pretty big on hurting their follow-up. Abza Router, go search Tracer. And then Battle Phase, Medora, attack Seal. Seal effect, Tribute for cost. And then they're going to chain Medora to put back Seal, Tracer, and Saferd. They wanted to, they could have used Keldo for Engraver, but then this would have gone back to hand. Uh, but maybe, again, maybe you'd want that to go back to hand, because you have Super Poly and Heartbeat. They're going to activate Planet to go search. So, Planet, go search out Shaylin. And then activate Shaylin effect. And there's no way they, like, miss this time, right? Like, they're going to hit something off of this. Okay, I guess the something was just another tier name in Medora. Um, then activate Murley effect in response, Chain Magma. Uh, okay, decides to chain magma. Yeah, it's like if they have happiness, they would have done it on seal. So you know they don't have it. So you know magma's gonna go through. And then activate super poly. Use magma and Shaylin to make mud dragon. And then activate the Shaylin effect in response. Chain Sornir. That is pretty big there. Um. Yeah, I, I guess like. The only thing that they could have done different is when they go Magma, you could chain Keldo to put back Murley to Planet Pop Shaylin, which plays around the Bistio on Shaylin effect. But then you make Kikalos, and Kikalos does what? I mean, you could search. Uh, search like a trap card pass. Doesn't seem that great, but maybe you... I mean... You can search Rhino and Summon, but it doesn't matter because they have the best deal for the last name. They're going to use Keldo Effect, put back Black Metal, Murley, and Druus Worm, and then Plana Effect, Pop Sornier, Sornier Effect, go dump. But they lose because they have Tracer. They don't have a pop on their turn because they don't have a tier engrave. They're getting to search. Like, you know, I think, like, we don't even need the search. Yeah, grab Abza Router. Okay, so we play two of them. That's something good for the opponent to know. At least we're getting information before we lose, you know? We may as well get that. Uh, boot Summon. There's actually no point for Alpha the Wizard to scoop here because it's a tournament match, but it's not timed. So they may as well stay here and get more information about the opponent's deck. Tribute Abza Router for Lubelion. Abza Router effect. Go search. Alpha the Wizard admits defeat there. Again, maybe could have stayed in a little bit longer. On to the next game. Alpha the Wizard goes first in game two. We got Nocto, Jerusalem, Gamma, Boot, Nocto. That's gonna be weird. We're gonna Gamma our opponent and then Jerusalem them, and then on Jerusalem someone we're gonna drop Nocto. They have Terraforming, Planet, Banshee, Jerusalem, Banshee. They actually have four field spell cards in their hand right now. So go main phase, activate Planet, Planet goes search. That's gonna grab Shaylin. 
Uh, probably playing so many Banshees because they're playing in uh, a $20 tournament, Dragon Riders tournament. You know, when it's a smaller tournament, you're expecting to see a little bit more Rogue. Just because, you know, if you only have to pay $5 for entry and there's not that many people in the tournament, like, you know, you're willing to pop out with your little Rogue deck to see if you can win. But if you're paying, like, you know, $10 per entry and it's a huge tournament, you might not take your Rogue deck to that. You might not feel as confident. Uh, discard the Banshee, Mill Havnus, Medora, and Talents. So Havnus effect, Chain Link 1. And then they're going to, in response, Chain Gamma. Okay, they let it go through. Alright, fair enough. Never mind, never mind. Bring out Kikalos, Kikalos effect. Let's that go through. And then go grab Murley. Yeah, Gamma on Kit just... It, it's not something you ever want to do. Kit, bring out Murley. And then Murley and Kit effect. So go Mill 8. See, so we're gonna see Shaylin, Solik, Keldo, Murley, Havnus. So new chain link, Murley one, Solik two, Shaylin three. Wait. Okay, they're doing this three because whatever they search, they wanna put back. So then they're gonna chain gamma in response. And they said res, or, you know, like response. Any response? And then we're gonna chain Jerusalem on Murley. So shutting down both of the tier names there. They've now gone through all three tier names. They're going to search Havnus off the Solik. And then on summon, activate Nocto. They kind of have to, otherwise you're just putting yourself on top deck mode. Activate Medora effect. Banish the shuffle. So it's going to put back Havnus, Super Poly, Super Poly. And then they're going to activate Planet effect to pop. And that's just going to pop Nocto. Normal summon out Banshee. Make Elf. And then pass turn. Okay, so they draw Imperm, which doesn't do anything. Try to go battle phase. Elf effect, summon Murley. Murley effect, mill three. Alright, what was the Murley mill? Um, I'm guessing they play three zombie worlds, so it doesn't even matter if they mill one. They could also shuffle it back if they needed to. But they mill Shaylin, Keldo, Kelbeck. Shaylin one, Kelbeck two. I don't see how Dragon wins this. They, don't, they actually just don't have any plays, so they can't even do anything this turn. Unless at this mill... I was gonna say, unless this mill somehow does it for him. Uh, they mill Cry, Megiddo, Scream, Rhino. All of those can activate. Okay, so put back, summon Kaleido. Now this new chain link's gonna go crazy. Kaleido 1, target Jurist Worm. Cry 2, target Merlia. Agito 3, Scream 4. So we're going to go search Solik. Mill 5 on both sides. They mill Medora, Havnus. We mill Chaos Space. And then they grab back Murley. Yeah, you see there's nothing really good here. I guess, like, you know, Tracer's engraved for boot. So that gives them, like, a, a, something else that they can technically activate. But stuff in graveyard just gets hit with Shufflebacks anyways. So it's like it was never there. Uh, like, both Tracer and Chaos Space will probably be shuffled back before they can even do anything. So, you, you know, you don't want them getting a Chaos Space draw for no reason. Summon Kit, Kit Effect, could Imperm this. We do imperm the Kikalos, okay. Uh, and I'm pretty sure they resolved everything. But on resolution, they're going to go Keldo, shuffle back, both Tracer, Chaos Space. Yep, they already know what they needed to do. So on to game number three now. We're going to see the Dragon Link player go first. We got Magma, Levy, DDG, Safer, and Jerusalem. So we do have a Floodgate plus a starter. Feels good. They have Planet, Super Poly, Planet, Talent, Shaylin. So normal summon Safer. Activate the Safer effect, and that's going to send itself. Go search for Black Dragon, and then banish Safer, summon out Black Dragon, link off in the Striker, and then activate the effects. Go search White, go search Boot. I don't know, starting with, uh, with Black Metal honestly feels better than starting with Safer. Like, Black Metal just works better with the Bestials than Safer does, because, like, Safer's combo, you know, you're banishing it to, like, summon out the baby dragons anyway, so it's not like you can say, like, oh, this grabs back, um, Lubellion, it just doesn't, um, well, Black Metal, you can easily, like, Sornir, dump Lubellion, and then tribute Red MD to bring back Lubellion, and that's good, but it's not like Safer's bad or anything, um, I definitely think you have to have at least one Safer in your deck list to search it off Magma during their end phase, you know, to give yourself two different lines of play on your next turn to add a baby dragon and bad, add back Lubellion. Like, that comes up a lot. Pass, they draw twin twisters. 
go main phase twin twisters they probably feel really good about that draw because they're guessing that this is a floodgate but it's not like you know a floodgate that needs to stay on field so then activate planets so the twin pretty much just was not nearly as good as there is it could have been so planet go search uh planet go search happiness we let that go through we could have chain sealed to bounce back planet normal summon happiness battle phase attack and then they activate seal effect tribute bounce back planet seal goes summon so they don't want to bounce back happiness bounce back a card that doesn't do anything until the next turn summon magma magma effect and if we can set up our engine by then wait oh no they i think they just messed up they forgot that magma was zero zero so that way they could beat over it so sum it off seal because otherwise i don't think you leave it there it's like really 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 whack to do so like i guess like technically having this plus this can be used with super poly to try to do something but no nah, you definitely would have attacked over it such so like a rank six place setup, like make a tom. A tom is nice. Draw Keldo. So he even has these in the deck going first, because we went over his other match, and I was like, okay, these maybe are in going second. So that way, if they mill against you, you can mill these. But even going first, uh, Chaos Emperor to add back the Saferd. And then normal summon Saferd. Okay, they said summon's fine. And then. We are going to, we could say battle phase and force stuff out. Go in the Romulus, Romulus effect, sure, go search. And then they don't just play Ravine, they also play the lands. But they're going to grab Ravine, activate Ravine, discard Keldo, and then go dump, dump Abza Router, Abza Router effect, search. We've already normal summoned, so whatever we search, we're not necessarily using this turn list if we're trying to get an alternative way to it that's not boot or normal summon. Banish Lights and Darks for Levy, summon it, effect a pop. The opponent will now change Super Poly to use Havness and Levy to make Mud Dragon. We're going to pop Mud Dragon with Levy. And then they're going to activate their Havness effect, chain Keldo. So Keldo is going to put back Havness, Boot, and Striker. So it doesn't put back their Mud Dragon or anything, which could have been a good thing to do. Just get that out of there because that can, you know, fuse into something. But we, they only have one blank card. Wait. Yeah, it's a blank card, right? Yeah, yeah, because that was already in hand. Because the planet searched Havnus. Yep, yep, yep. So, big thing. And, like, I don't know. I, I just feel like Alpha the Wizard played, like, really, really sloppy this game. Like, why normal summon Havnus? Maybe we were supposed to just normal summon Shaylin, battle phase, attack, seal. If they use the effect, we chain Havnus. But the thing is, like, we couldn't do anything because DDG. So, I don't know. Should we have even used Twin earlier on? I guess, like, wh what did they think it was? Maybe they thought it was a Tidying. Maybe they thought it was that. I don't know. I'd love to talk to him about it and see what... He thought there. Summon magma, magma effect to search during end phase. Then we're going to link off, go in the triple burst. Okay, so yeah, I'm guessing there's access code in the deck because it's like pure dragon link. So banish, summon, access code, uh, chaos emperor, summon itself back. You know, effect, gain 3000 attack, chaos emperor, summon by banishing. And then that is 83. That is the classic, except. This could have been Popega, and then it would have been the classic Dragon OTK. Not gonna lie, I was scared you had something. Let me got me for real, for real, cards crazy. Yes, sir. See ya. See ya later. All right, all right. So that's gonna be it for the match. The match was about 40 minutes long. We are going to see Dragon Link win over Tier Element. Again, if you want to enter the giveaway for all the stuff I'm giving away in this giveaway, all you have to do is like the video, subscribe, and comment down below your favorite Yu-Gi-Oh card. The giveaway is going to end in roughly 72 hours. The winner will be chosen by me pinning the comment. Don't get scammed. On the last giveaway, I've had at least five people message me telling them, like telling me that they got scammed. So don't get scammed. Don't get scammed. Don't get scammed. That's all I can say to help you guys out. And the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.